Time is running out as former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley continues his bid for the White House. With the Iowa caucus fast approaching, O'Malley is fighting to keep his spot in the next Democratic debate. WJZ is live. Derek Valcourt has O'Malley's all out push to grow support in Iowa. Derek? Well, he is still polling in the single digits right now. Those numbers are barely enough to qualify him to be on stage in the next debate. In our debate, because you'll never hear this from that. Uh, immigrant bashing carnival barker Donald Trump. Despite relatively good showings in the debate so far, Martin O'Malley's campaign still hasn't picked up significant steam as the calendar chugs towards the primaries. NBC says O'Malley needs to reach 5% in polls nationally or in any of the first three voting states to make it on the stage for the next debate. They're treating your presidential selection process as if it's a, another episode of The Apprentice. O'Malley, whose poll numbers hovered around or below 5%, took aim at NBC and the Democratic National Committee in front of Iowa voters. Bad enough that they would that we would be limited to only four debates and that they would hide them on Saturdays behind football games. But now they tell us that they can't really manage perhaps a three-way race. Both Sanders and Clinton have called for O'Malley's inclusion in the debate, and it appears for now he will qualify, though just barely, but his future in the race remains unclear. He's got no really prospect of winning it. Hopkins political science professor Matthew Crenson says it's not likely O'Malley would be chosen to be Clinton or Sanders running mate, but Crenson suspects O'Malley's campaign may be all about the long term. I suppose it does. Uh, so I think he really wants to be president. Yeah. And maybe he hopes that if he doesn't make it this time, he'll acquire the visibility that he needs to get it in 2020, 2024. Suggesting this time around, the campaign is excellent practice. And analysts say O'Malley's campaign finances could play a big role in determining how long he'll stay in the race. Derek Valcor, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Derek. The next Democratic debate. January 17th in Charleston, South Carolina. Well